Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking at calculating the unknown angle in a right angle triangle when two side lengths have been provided. We will be using the inverse operations of either the sine, cosine or tangent functions. Just as a recap from previous sessions, you need to be able to identify or name the sides in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse, the side that is across from the right angle, opposite the side that is across from my reference angle, and adjacent the side that's between my reference angle and my right angle. And also the trig ratios those being sine theta equals the length of the opposite divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Cos theta, which equals the length of the adjacent divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And tan theta, which equals the length of the opposite divided by the length of the adjacent. We're going to work through three examples. And by that time, by well, the end of that, you should be fairly comfortable in calculating the angles in right angle triangles when two lengths are provided. So first example here, you can see my right angle triangle. I need to identify the knowns and where the angle is that I'm calculating. So here is my angle that I'm looking to calculate. Here is a known side length of 12 another known side length of five. I want to name the sides on my triangle. Well, this side here, it's across from my right angle, so it's the hypotenuse. This side here, this is across from my reference angle, so it is the opposite. Now, which trig ratio do I use? Well, which one has both opposite and hypotenuse? Well, there you go and see it's the sine theta. So I will write down sine theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Then all I need to do is populate with the values. So the sine of my angle equals 5 divided by 12. And the last step is I just need to use my calculator to solve for this unknown theta. So I will actually be applying the inverse sine operation. What I want to do is, is remove this sine from this side and the, the opposite to applying as a sine operation is the inverse sine. So I'll show you how I can do that on my calculator. So I just basically work my trig function, sine, and I want to basically five divided by 12. You can double check here. So I'm doing the inverse sine of 5 divided by 12. Most important that you do all this in one step. It eliminates any rounding issues. And you'll notice here, my answer is 24.6243, etc. degrees. And I have rounded this to two decimal places. So 24.62. If you did not get this answer, just double check in the setup of your calculator that your calculator has been set up to use degrees and not radians or that, that type of thing. Okay, we'll just move on to our next one. Okay, again, my right angle triangle, one known, five, side length of five, Another known, side length of eight, an unknown, angle theta. I need to name these two sides. Well, there you go, that's the easy one, hypotenuse. Now, this side here, it is between my reference angle and my right angle, so that is the adjacent. Which ratio uses adjacent and hypotenuse? That is cosine theta. So. I will, I have identified the trig ratio, so cosine theta equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So, 
populate those numbers. So cosine of theta, theta is my unknown, equals 5 divided by 8. Adjacent is 5, hypotenuse is 8. Then I'll use my calculator to calculate the unknown angle. So you'll see here, theta equals the inverse cosine of 5 divided by 8. I'll show you quickly how I do that in my calculator. Just go to the trig functions that I have. You might just have a button straight up that just says inverse cosine. 5 divided by 8. And the angle there is 51.32 when I round that to two decimal places. And one more example. Again, right angle triangle. I have a known side length, a known side length, and an unknown angle. So, let's name these sides. Well, what is the side that's across from my reference angle? The opposite. What is the side that's between my reference angle and my right angle? Adjacent. So I need to identify the trig ratio that has the opposite and the adjacent in it. So which one has opposite and adjacent? That is tan theta. So I'll write that down. Tan theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Might be tempting just to skip that step, but I always would recommend that you write that line just so you know, your teacher or other people can see what you're thinking. Now, populate the ratio with your knowns and your unknowns. So my unknown is the theta, tan theta equals, now value of my opposite is nine, value of the adjacent is seven. Then I can use my calculator to solve for that. So you'll see here, theta equals the inverse tan of nine divided by seven and I can put that into my calculator. I don't think I'll do this this time because you've seen how I've done the inverse of the sine and cos. It's just the same sort of thing. And you'll notice that you get an answer of 52.13 degrees. Now, I hope this presentation has given you a good understanding of how to calculate this angle here, this reference angle, when two sides have been provided in a right angle triangle. So until next time, good maths.